Hey everybody, today is Thursday, October 13th, 2022, and we're here at Colonial Garden since 1967. I have been coming out here ever since I was a little kid, not in 1967. I was born in 1982, but my parents always came out here for flowers and shrubberies and other planting goods and planting materials and pots and all that kind of awesome, amazing stuff you would need for, for planting flowers and things like that. But that's not what makes this place have a soft spot in my heart. Yes, we came out here for planting materials and plants and whatnot, but every October, this place became amazing. It became pumpkin land. Look at this. And they still do it to this day. They still do pumpkin land out here at Colonial Gardens. All kinds of cool haunted hay rides, all kinds of fun things like that. Look at that. Spooks. Let's say spooks on our stage. Check that out. Daytime hay rides and pumpkin land every single day. I believe they also do nighttime hay rides as well, or at least they used to anyway. I loved coming out here as a kid and experiencing all the amazingness that was pumpkin land. So much cool stuff out here. I just had a blast with my family coming out here. My aunt, my great aunt, who I mentioned all the time in these videos, she used to bring me and my brother out here all the time. It was so much fun. And this is one of the reasons why it was so much fun. All of these cardboard cutouts. Look at this. This is so cool. We got some Paw Patrol here. There's, who is that? I'm forgetting the names of people that stock big stuff. And that's who that is. They've got Bluey here as well. There's some Anna and Elsa and, and Olaf. This is such an awesome thing. Coming out here as a kid and getting to experience all these, these wooden cutouts. There's Cinderella there. You can actually sit in here and look at that. You can have him put the Put the shoe, you could be a princess. Have them put the shoe right on you. How cool is that? I love the pumpkin coach. This is so cool. So this is one of the reasons why I love coming out here because of all the awesome, the awesome wooden cutouts. Yes, these are like sort of newer ones. I mean, when I was a kid, it was, I don't know, I'm thinking probably Snoopy and Garfield and all kinds of 80s stuff like that. Probably He-Man and Transformers and stuff. Now it's, it's a lot of Disney, lots and lots of Disney out here, but still it's very awesome. Look at these. It's just so cool. Can take a book from Belle. That is too awesome. So these cardboard cutouts are, per, I should say, not cardboard cutouts, wooden cutouts. I keep saying cardboard cutouts. These wooden cutouts are really, really awesome. Lots of fun photo opportunities. And as a kid, I would come out here and I would just play on all of these for hours and hours and hours. Look at the, like the light year tires and everything. Look at all these. These are cool. There's a Thomas the Tank Engine. I wanna see you could probably go inside Thomas. You can, you can actually go inside Thomas here. Look at this. You can drive Thomas. I guess this is how you drive your train with little circles. The creativity behind this, there's a bell. There's no, there's no clangor inside, but the creativity behind this is what really speaks to me. I love seeing things like these, these giant wooden, creations for kids to play on. These are so cool. There's Batman. There's Wonder Woman there. It's around here. Oh, there's, there's Boba Fett. Or is that not, it's not Boba Fett? No, it's, that's, that's the Mando. That's the Mandalorian. And Grogu down there. They have the Adams Family. I mean, that is just too cool. That is just too awesome. This is really neat. Party room number one. You can actually have, look at this, you can have haunted parties here. And I love I love the smell of the hay. That is what really brings me back. Every time I come out here, when I bring my son out here, when I come out here, I smell that hay anywhere. Anywhere I smell hay, I immediately think of pumpkin land at Colonial Gardens because I used to play in the hay here all the time because they actually have a whole entire hay play, a hay play area. Look at this. For hours and hours and hours, my brother and I would just go and down these slides and go into the hay bales and throw hay around. We'd come out with just hay all over us. Look at the TMNT. That is totally awesome. I don't even know if I could, if I can do it. Hold on, let me see. There we go, look at that. Look at that, I am Leonardo. How awesome and cool are these cardboard cutouts you can get your photo taken with? There's Spider Gwen and Spider Man and Black Panther. You could actually be a an R2 unit, which makes no sense. What's like that makes no sense at all. But I love it anyway. That is too cool. You can be a ghost over here. You can be some ghost. My hand it. Oh, I love I love this song. This is actually this is actually the last song we had playing 
at our wedding. It's the it's this it's a theme song to Mannequin. I love it. So they actually have all these pumpkins out here. You can buy as well. It's starting to rain, so it might start pouring on us any second now. We'll see. But look at the look at the awesome pumpkins out here. This is where we always get our pumpkins every single year. And they actually have Casper's treasure with Casper's sunken treasure. This is a a haunted little maze you can actually walk through. This is where my brother and I used to have a ton of fun as a kid. Look at these things. My brother and I would come out here with my aunt. My aunt, like I said, my great aunt would bring us out here and just the amazing, and I have, I have hay all over me. The amazing woman that she was, she would come out here with her book of crossword puzzles, sit down on a chair. My brother and I would spend hours and hours and hours running through these mazes, which I remember being a lot darker Back in the day, now it's just these, these pallets. Back when I was a kid, they actually covered these pallets and these mazes were like pitch black. Even during the day, running through here, these were pitch black mazes. And we used to hide and we used to maybe or maybe not scare other kids. We'd stand in the corner and we would try not to giggle and laugh and other kids would come through that we didn't know. We'd be like, rah! We'd basically be scare actors without even being scare actors. This is pretty, pretty awesome. Look at the bit of stairs of the rocks you can climb here and then already oh there's a there's a pirate here look at that a pirate skeleton i mean is this is that I guess that's casper is that casper's sunken treasure right there look at that that is too cool that is awesome so like i said back in the day this is much more spookier and scarier but still it's pretty awesome i feel like Maybe things aren't quite what they used to be. Maybe I'm just remembering my childhood a little bit better, but still, really awesome. Like I said, they actually do haunted hay rides. I don't know if they do them at night. I'm hoping they still do haunted nighttime hay. Oh my gosh, we gotta go through. There's a maze over here. There's a there's a corn maze. We have to go through it. So I don't know if they still do nighttime hay rides here. I'm assuming they do. I hope they do. I used to love doing the nighttime hay rides. As a little kid, we would come out here with my aunt and we would do the daytime hay rides, which is basically just the nighttime hay ride, but during the day, so it's not nearly as scary. But then at night, they would do these haunted hay rides here, and they would have fog and scary music and scare actors, people jumping out at you. It was really, really awesome. And I'm assuming they still do that. Am I gonna get lost in this maze? I might actually get lost in this corn maze. I have no idea. This is, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm going the right way. I have no idea if I'm actually heading I am not heading the right way. That is definitely a dead end. And I can hear the rain, the rain coming, meaning I should probably get out of here before the rain comes down and starts pouring on me and I get completely, completely drenched. Am I heading the right way? I think I'm heading the right way. This could be another dead end for all I know. I'm not entirely sure. Did, it's not the right way. <laughs> Did I literally get lost in this maze? I think I may have actually somehow got myself completely lost inside this maze here. Uh, this way? Are you kid? Are you kidding me? How did I get my, it's not even a big maze. How did I get myself lost? We found it. I found the, <laughs> I found the exit. I actually got lost in that maze. That was pretty awesome. I love, if, if it's a maze I can get lost in, you know it's gotta at least be pretty good. So anyway, anyway guys, just wanted to bring you out here, show you pumpkin land here at Colonial Gardens. This place, again, as a kid, used to be the coolest place. I would come out here and spend hours and hours and hours playing on all the different kinds of hay they had. And I believe at one point, they actually used to have a big, it was like a swimming pool full of corn. They would just take corn off the, like, like hard corn off the cob. And you could like jump into these big, kind of like, think of a ball pit, but of nothing but corn. Not the cobs, just the, the little pieces of corn. It was so much fun. They had that, they had the hay, they had all the different, the different wooden cutouts. You could hang out in. They had the, the different mazes and of course the hay rides. But as a kid, I used to love going on during the day. And then at night, I used to love doing at night with my friends when I got a little bit older, when I became a teenager, coming out here at night and going through the haunted hay ride. Event area closed. There are no events tonight. Proceeding beyond this point is trespassing. So we can't actually go in here. But it looks like they now have like a haunted walkthrough attraction as well. That is cool. Ooh. I hear some scary noises in there. Oh, it's the, the pumpkins are going off. Look at that. The pumpkins are going off. There's a skeleton. There's a, there's a werewolf. Their wolf. Their castle. That is too cool. That is awesome. I kind of want to come out here now 
and do that. I, I've never done the walkthrough attraction before. I've only ever done the Haunted Hayride. I'm very intrigued. I gotta find out when they're doing that and actually get out here. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. The rain is coming down. I'm gonna get drenched any second now. The rain is getting harder and harder and harder. So I gotta get out of here before I get completely drenched. I'm gonna bring my son back out here at some point. We're gonna pick out a pumpkin, definitely carve a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, the rain is definitely starting to come down. But I just wanna show you this place because again, as a kid, I used to love coming out here, playing in all the different attractions, going through the mazes, going through the hayride. As a teenager, as a kid, they have a, oh my gosh, hold on, we're not, we're not quite done yet. There's a clown maze as well. Look at this. There's a clown up there. There's all kinds of pool noodles you can go through. You can, you can hear the rain coming down. I'm gonna get drenched going back out to my car. But look at this. It's a fun house. This is new. I've never, I've never seen the fun house before. Look at this. Look at the creepy ghosts and stuff. How awesome is this? <gasps> it's Slimer. Okay, that is really cool. I love all the, again, I love the creativity behind all of this. That is what I love. All the different things and whatnot uh, that are, oh my gosh, yeah. It's pouring down rain right now. Is there a way to, there's not a way to get out of here, I don't think, without actually sort of going back outside. There's the Ecto-1 with the Ghostbusters. That's cool. I don't know why they have little helmets on, but they do. I'm gonna get drenched. I had to go back out, I believe, into the rain to actually get out of here and get physically back to my car. But it's really cool they have this, this fun house. Who's this? Oh, there's, oh, I'm not, I'm not going down the slide, but there's a slide here. Look at that. But all right, guys, like I said, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna try not to get completely 100% drenched. Come back soon. I definitely will with my son. I'm gonna bring my son out here. And I'm gonna, no, I gotta, see, I gotta go back through, back through here. I'm gonna have to walk out in the rain a lot. I don't want to do that, but all right, guys, so that's it. Unless I come across some of anything else new and interesting, I am going to let you guys go. So again, Colonial Gardens here in the Phoenixville. Oh, I don't have a choice. I have to go around. All right, so Colonial Gardens here in the Phoenixville, Pennsylvania area. This place is awesome. Like I said, I've been coming out here ever since I was a little kid. I love it. Definitely check out Pumpkin Land. You can get pumpkins. You can play and all the different things that there are to play out here. You can go on a haunted hayride. You can go into a bunch of different mazes, a fun house. You can get your picture taken with some really cool, cool wooden cutouts. And hopefully when you get out here, oh, it won't be raining, I hope. So anyway, guys, all right, that is it. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. You guys do become a patron. I will send you a postcard every single month on the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do good help putting gas in Vanabel. So we can come into fun, interesting places like this. I can show you guys Pumpkin Land and all kinds of other cool, fun stuff. So, all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you are subscribed, or you hit the subscribe button. I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.